Early Pregnancy Failure, Blighted Ovum What is early pregnancy failure? What will happen if I have an early pregnancy failure? When can I try to conceive again? Does having an early pregnancy failure once mean I'm likely to miscarry again? What is early pregnancy failure? Early pregnancy failure, also known as blighted ovum or embryonic gestation, is a common cause of miscarriage. It happens when a fertilized egg implants in the uterus but the resulting embryo either stops developing very early or doesn't form at all. If you have an early pregnancy failure, you may not find out about it until the end of your first trimester. What will happen if I have an early pregnancy failure? With an early pregnancy failure, you'll still get a positive result on a pregnancy test, because the placenta begins to develop and starts to secrete human chorionic gonadotropin HCG, the hormone that these tests look for. Early on, you may also have some common pregnancy symptoms, such as fatigue, nausea, and sore breasts. Later, when the hormone levels begin to go down, these symptoms will subside and you're likely to have spotting or bleeding. At first you might notice some reddish-brown staining. Later you might have cramps or bleeding as your hormone levels recede. If you're having cramps or bleeding, or your uterus isn't growing as it should, or if your healthcare practitioner can't hear the baby's heartbeat with a Doppler by 12 weeks or so, you'll have an ultrasound to check on your baby. If it's a case of early pregnancy failure, the ultrasound will show an empty gestational sac. You're likely to miscarry, that is, to expel the gestational sac and accumulated tissue, by the end of your first trimester, though it may happen earlier than that. The miscarriage process can take weeks, though, and once you find out you aren't carrying a baby, you may find it's too emotionally wrenching or physically uncomfortable, if you're cramping a lot, to wait for a spontaneous miscarriage. In that case, you may be able to use medication to speed up the miscarriage process. Or you may decide to have a procedure, a suction curatage or a dilation and curatage DNC, to remove the tissue. You'll need to have the tissue removed if you have any problems that make it unsafe to wait for a miscarriage, such as significant bleeding or signs of infection. When can I try to conceive again? Some practitioners recommend waiting to conceive until you've had a period, which is likely to happen 4 to 6 weeks after you miscarry or have the tissue removed. You'll need to use birth control while you wait, since you may ovulate as early as 2 weeks after you miscarry. After that, you're in the clear. And one Scottish study of over 30,000 women concluded that women who get pregnant within 6 months of having a miscarriage actually have the best odds of having a healthy pregnancy. Those women had fewer miscarriages or ectopic pregnancies than women who got pregnant 6 to 12 months after their miscarriage. However, while you may be physically ready to get pregnant again, you might not feel ready emotionally. Every woman copes with the grief of early pregnancy loss in her own way, and some women find it takes months until they're interested in trying to conceive again. Does having an early pregnancy failure once mean I'm likely to miscarry again? No. Although you're likely to be worried about the possibility of another miscarriage, fertility experts don't consider a singularly pregnancy loss to be a sign that there's anything wrong with you or your partner. Most practitioners will wait until a woman has had two or three consecutive miscarriages to order special blood and genetic tests to try to find out what's going wrong.